Hello Unity users. Today I'll be starting a new tutorial series on how to make a car racing game using the Unity 3D demo project which is there in the asset store. First of all, download the Unity tutorial project from the Unity asset store. Go to the Unity asset store. Click on browse. Car search for car here's a car tutorial uh, click on open in unity and uh, unity opens up and there you can download this car tutorial project and create a new project right since i've already downloaded it and created a new project uh, this is how it look it looks like when i've downloaded and created a new project I've opened the scene, complete scene. Now you can open this by going to open scene, scenes, and the com and double clicking on this complete scene. I've already opened it, and uh, this is the thing that I'm uh, getting. Now you can change the layers uh, as well. I prefer to I prefer the two by three layer layout. Uh, in in this part, what we'll be doing is we'll be adding the countdown to the uh, racing game. Uh, in in this tutorial, there is uh, when you press play. Uh, but in a real racing game, uh, you you need a countdown. So I'll be doing it today. <coughs> Sorry. To do this, create a good text name it as count down yeah and create an empty game object we name it as uh, container right. now create a javascript uh, count down open this javascript since I'm pretty bad at remembering and typing, I've already written down the script in the notepad. Uh, I'll be explaining this shortly. I'll copy this thing and I'll paste it here. Yeah. So, uh, in this Unity thing, this is the editor. This is this is play, pause, and all those things. This is the game object, the game object car, and it contains various components. Like the transform rigid body, the car script, the sound controller thing, these are all default uh, in the car tutorial a demo project. Now, if I, uh, there's a countdown. Uh, <coughs> sorry, I'll change the font size to 40. Say. Now, you, you can use different fonts of your choice by downloading them from the internet. Let, now, let us concentrate on the script part. I've declared a GUI text which is named as GUI countdown. Uh, the count max signifies the uh, ma maximum value from which the countdown begins. If you set it to 3, then the countdown begins from 3, 2, and so on. Uh, the function start. Uh, this function start is one of the standard functions in the JavaScript. Uh, whatever are there in this function, uh, as the name suggests, start. These are executed at the start whenever you press the play button on in the Unity editor. Uh, now I've enabled the GUI text at the start of the uh, game, and then uh, we call the start race function. What's there in the start rate start race function is that uh, we have declared a variable named car. What this does is game object or find what this does is it finds the uh, object named car it finds this and assigns it and assigns to this thing now car is in this thing now we've created another variable named the driving script this is uh, this has the value of this thing this car script this is a driving script uh, what it does is <coughs> sorry this is the game object and this is the component of this game object 
which is the car script and uh, the driving script is a thing that we use uh, for the now what we do is we disable the driving script uh, so as to make sure that uh, whenever we start the countdown uh, the car should not move forward or backward or whatever direction uh, we have to make sure that right uh, so we have, we have disabled the driving script uh, this part does is uh, the countdown thing uh, we have uh, set the countdown this is the for loop uh, it goes on it goes on from count max to zero whenever it comes to zero uh, we display it go instead of zero this is a thing yeah we have used yield wait for seconds uh, as a delay as a delay thing I have to wait four seconds I've waited for one second as, uh, like say three and then wait for one second two wait for one second one right that's uh, that's the thing and now after the countdown uh, after go is displayed on the screen we have disabled the GUI text and enable the driving script right so then uh, we can use uh, the arrow keys or the control keys uh, to control the car now this is about the script I'll save this script I'll wait for these modifications in this VT editor yeah what I'll do is click on this countdown or other container and add the countdown script here just drag it here what's going on let us save this yeah let's, let's test it out what's going on the, yeah mistake oh, sorry I should paste it in this right yeah <coughs> yeah now drag this countdown thing with text here and set the count maximum to say 3 yeah. now let's test it press play this was the first part of the tutorial that is uh, setting the countdown thing uh, we'll be uh, learning more about this car game and i'll be uploading many videos soon uh, so do subscribe uh, to me guys uh, if you have any issues or queries comment and i'll reply to you and do subscribe and keep liking commenting and keep sharing do favorite this videos uh, i'll be back with more soon Thank you for watching guys, see ya.